put it here. Perfect. Hi guys, welcome to a brand new fishtail. This is Coho Beach, this is Cook Inlet. This is where the most beautiful wild salmon of Alaska is swimming and they're heading right there to enter at Kasilov River. But we caught, actually Brian, he's standing behind you. He caught this beautiful piece of sockeye and today I'm going to make a great and easy Italian dish with it. A fettuccine with wild Alaskan sockeye salmon, a bit of mushroom, a bit of cream, a bit of lemon and tarragon. Delicious. You will need like for two persons 300, 350 gram of salmon fillet. I'm going to fillet it myself, but ask your fishmonger store for like a good piece of buy or buy it at the supermarket store. So I'm going to cut my fillet in squared cubes of around like two centimeters. There you go. So now the water is boiling, we add the pasta. Uh, I've added one tablespoon of salt. Okay, so first I chop the shallot. Chop it really fine. And this is Alaska, and really, at this very moment, it's 11 o'clock at night. During winter, it's, a, it's really dark here, but during summer, I mean, this is so amazing. I'm going to cut the mushrooms, not too thin, that it falls together with the structure of the salmon. If we talk about sustainability, today we got a beautiful piece of salmon, but yesterday the rivers were closed for fishing, for commercial fishing. Why? Because they want to let through enough salmon for, for reproduction for the next season. Actually in Alaska they took the very first law when the state was founded in, in the 50s, and this law was for to protect uh, seafood in Alaska. Those boats are maybe like 10 meters, small skiffs, and they do such a good job. And this salmon, this wild salmon is so different from what we are used to eat, like this farm salmon. This is 100% pure. This is 100% nature. This is how we should consume seafood. <laughs> ah, there is here a hole in my boot. The water in my boots are until here right now. But we need to continue because in 20 minutes it will be dark here. And now we're going to pan fry in some butter the mushrooms and the shallot until they are golden brown. And now I add the beautiful pieces of salmon. Now the capers, I use like one tablespoon. And already I use a bit of pepper and a bit of salt. And I cook the salmon maybe two minutes, maybe three minutes, because we will have still, we'd like to have it like juicy inside and not too dry some lemon so I add like two tablespoons of cream not too much look at this mmm it's quite good quite good just a bit of extra pepper taste yourself realize what you like add some salt add some pepper maybe a bit of extra lemon and create your own perfect dish so now I add the pasta bit of pasta to the sauce and now I'm adding the tarragon which gives a bit of anisette taste to it but also the beautiful green color just sprinkle perfect so it's always a question if you cook outdoor if your dish is the same as you cook it at home but I promise you this time it's really it's it's perfect I'm really happy with this Please leave your questions and comments in the box below. And don't forget to subscribe. Some extra pepper. This gives a nice color if you serve it to your friends or your family, to your girlfriend, to your boyfriend, to your wife, to your husband. So guys, the end of the day, as you can see, it's getting dark here. I'd like to thank you for watching my show. And I'll see you soon for a fresh new fishtail.